365 days of horsemanship, day 99. Quite an interesting day today, actually. Definitely some new experiences and some old experiences with new mindset and new interest. So I came to Mia first. And she looked up at me initially, but then she was having a not very interested day. And, and so I came to her with the intention of haltering, but then she was so not interested and I just, I just didn't really... I didn't want to push today. I wanted to see if it was possible not to push um, or not to push as much. And because I think now I'm in a place where I can apply a little bit of pressure. I'd get a good result with her. But I, 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 I'm always trying to reduce the pressure as much as possible. And so I started working with the same pattern that I've been working with with Lawrence, where I offer the halter at one side of the neck um, and then I walk around the back and I offer it at the other side and I just keep up, keep walking until, well, either she looks at it or there's a change of focus. Well, Lawrence, this doesn't take very long. This was a pattern that was very successful for us. Um, and quite quickly he became irritated by the amount of movement around him and was motivated to find the solution. Mia, I think, is considerably more shut down, actually, in that way than Lawrence is. She can put up with that amount of discomfort for a really long time. And that's something that I've seen with her before, where initially when I started working with the freedom-based training, I went with the sort of supportive leadership a uh, pattern where you you walk basically while they're grazing until they change their focus and then you come into flow and so obviously when you're in flow that's slightly more comfortable and when you're not in flow that's slightly less comfortable and so they're sort of motivated to to focus change to get you back into flow with them and with Mia I found that I could walk for hours <laughs> or what felt like hours you know, I could walk for half an hour constantly and nothing would happen and she was very good at just shutting out the world blocking out the discomfort ignoring it and just continuing with her comfort crutch which was her eating and in some cases the more I did it almost seemed like the the more shut down she became and, and Elsa excuse me we talked about being more provocative which is uh, further along the training of the spectrum and further away from freedom. But ultimately, it's still freedom based, you know, if she has the opportunity to leave and there's not going to be a punishment for her um, deciding that. So today I went with that pattern. And I did that pattern for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe even, maybe even 20 minutes just walking and nothing happened and it definitely did seem initially I, I offered her the halter and she did touch it and she was curious quite early on and so I went into flow and after that I couldn't get it again and it was interesting because I got it and then I did two or three and then I got another head lift but it wasn't quite as much and it was almost like she was testing how little she could get away with to get me to come back to flow and it was less and less each time and so I didn't really want to accept it because um, I felt like we were kind of going backwards and it seemed like we only really went even more backwards. And then I was, you know, for 10 or 15 minutes just walking around her, you know, in this little U-shape with, with nothing happening at all. Um, and initially I, I felt like I, I wanted to stay. And as I, was, as I was walking, I sort of started to think that 
I think this is kind of how she she wins is that she really does have more time and more patience than than I do. You know, if I had nowhere else to be today and nothing else to do, then I guess I could have stayed. I think maybe it's a setup that I need to make for myself where I have something else to do to distract myself so that I can play that game. Excuse me. My goodness. I don't know why I'm so tired suddenly. Um, yeah, that I can play that game whilst reading my book, perhaps. I actually did bring my book and I was intending to read it while I hosed her. And then I didn't take it to the field because I assumed I'd, I'd be haltering. Um, which I wasn't. And so... Yeah, it, I don't really know what to make of it, to be honest. Because in the end, what I ended up doing was I, I realised I was coming to the end of my time frame and really nothing had changed. And I could see that I was going to need a lot more time. And so I wanted to sort of be a bit more provocative and provoke that focus change. And so I started jumping next to her. Um, like in the way you would jump if you were getting on. Because I know she finds that quite irritating. Um, and I wanted to provoke focus change. And so I, and I even had to do that a few times in order to irritate her enough that she put her head up. And then I was like, oh, nice. And so I just kind of like took a couple of steps back, did like literally like one or two breaths of flow and then left. And as I was walking away, um, as I was walking away, I heard her blow out. So I'm hoping that it was a teaching moment or a learning moment. I don't know. Um, I really don't know. We'll see. Don't really know what I'm going to come back with tomorrow. Um, today she can be hosed later, but tomorrow, maybe not. So I'll have to make more compromises tomorrow come back to it at another time she's being she's being hosed once a day anyway but you know you can't host too many times um so yeah i don't know really what to make of it or what i'll come back with tomorrow and interestingly i had a similar feeling when i left lawrence as well i had a really nice session with lawrence i came up Initially, he looked at me from a distance and then started grazing. And so I just did a little bit of distance work. And after about three or four minutes, he came over to me and that was really nice. It was really nice, really, really nice to feel like that I could play at that distance. You know, I mean, it must have been sort of 60 feet odd, 60, 70 feet, which is it's a long way, you know. Um, yeah, and I managed to draw him from all that way just by staying in flow and eventually he came over and that was just really nice and and yeah and then we had a really nice session so that was really cool um so i think i'll try that again and we did some scratching some massaging some itching it was all very soft very nice it made me feel better about because the day before i had left i'd literally come up seen him He'd like bumped me with his nose and I'd laughed. I'd taken the opportunity and left. And I was sort of thinking, oh, I hope that's the right choice. And we had a really nice day today. We had a really, really nice session today. And he was really soft and gentle. So I do feel like that was positive. Positive learning moment. Um, and yeah, and then he went to sleep. I even managed to get a few yields in um, where I was like rocking him in that place. And into a focus change and he had the focus change that was really nice and where I was rocking him at his hindquarters and he actually like put his head down and licked and chewed and so that was all really nice then he went to sleep and I slept with him for I don't know maybe five minutes and then I went and slept with him on the other side when he changed focus and it all just seemed really nice just really really nice and then he lowered his head right down blew out a lot and licked and did like a really big lick and chew and I just thought to myself, this is the best it's going to get today. Like, I can stay longer and there will be a better, there will be another good moment, but it's not going to be as good as that moment. That's, that's the golden moment, the best moment of the day. And so I decided to leave. And as I was walking away, I, I did take one look back, which I try not to do, because um, I don't want to confuse the situation. But 
I looked back and I could see he was still resting. I thought that's so nice. And I sort of wished I had had time to stay longer, but I also, you know, needed to, you know, I'm working tonight, so I need to get home and, and do all my other bits and pieces. And I, um, and I, um, and I, I looked back as I was, as I was opening the gate to leave in my car and he was looking at me across the top of the hill and it, from a, the whole way across the yard I could see he was looking at me and then at that moment I suddenly felt really bad like I should have stayed longer and like he was looking at me and trying to work out why I'd left but I think I think that's my personal trauma I don't I think I'm anthropomorphizing I think and I think that it was a good place to leave. And I think these feelings of guilt that I had that he wanted me to stay is something I think that has limited us because it sort of puts me in a position where firstly, I'm not a leader. And secondly, I'm, I'm not creating that curiosity. Like that's a lot of curiosity. Like that's a lot of interest in me. Even as I'm leaving, he's still thinking about the session that we had, presumably because it was so nice. Um, yeah, and, and that's really big. That's really huge. And I definitely, my brain is telling me that it's a good thing that he was so that he was so interested like objectively I'm going well that's so great that he was so interested in me but then I have all these negative emotions where I'm like anxious I'm like worried like oh my goodness like you know how it, does he feel like I abandoned him too soon and he wishes that I had stayed and you know I don't want him to feel like that I don't want to stay with him you know if he wants me to stay with him but I don't think that that's really helpful but I don't know and I didn't film this straight away. I had to drive all the way home to kind of think about it before I could do this one because, do this video, because I just really still don't know how I feel about it. Um, tomorrow's day 100. I'll come tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I think that it might be part of being a leader. And this idea I have that I, I, I kind of want to constantly be everybody's friend and I don't ever want anybody to feel negative or to feel sad or to feel lonely or to feel anything that, you know, I'll, I'll do anything to make them feel okay or to give them the sort of dominance in the situation or make, allow them to make the decision. But actually, is that really where I need to be as a horseman? I don't know. So we'll see. An interesting one today a really interesting one it's 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 good to talk about how I really feel about it and it'll be good to see how things are the next couple of days and and find out kind of what the outcome is you know tomorrow how things are so yeah see you then